This is Officer Ashlyn Plough, and she just punched this black woman in the face. What's worse is that this is a pattern for her, and she's well known to use excessive force on people of color. Up to this point, she and her department have gone unpunished, but there are countless cases of racist officers who forget they're being recorded, like when a cop repeatedly shouts slurs at an innocent black man. For being but first, let's look at a cop who did something so racist, it got him fined $100,000 and fired from the police force entirely. Hey, I'm black as out here. That's what the issue is. Yeah. The incident happened in San Diego when he approached Amari Johnson for smoking in a non-smoking area. The only problem, Johnson didn't have a lighter, cigarette, or vape on him. Even if he was smoking, do you think that warranted this treatment? Get the off me, bro. What the you grab me for, bro? I already told you this is coming straight. You look goofy as hell, bro. Stop Sit touching down. me, bro. Obviously, yeah, nobody's going nowhere. Smack hey, 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 what I tell you? Sit I told down. you I'm waiting for somebody to come here. Okay. They right here, bro. Sit down. Oh, oh my God, you're tough as up. Hey, you tough as up. Stop. Hey, stop. Bro, you goofy as hell, bro. Hey, Mr. Dadges, you making a big ass deal out of nothing, Brody. You're the one you making a big ass deal out of nothing, Brody. Sit down. You real big, though, huh? Dude, hey, you real big. The one that just hey, you real big. Sit down. Hey, you real tough. Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I have no reason to be detained by you, bro. Sit down. Bro, stop. Stay seated. Get on the ground. What am I doing? <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell, bro. This is funny as hell, bro. Hey. Hey, let's study. That's fine, dude. You've already put your hands on me. Bro, I didn't put nothing on you, bro. It's on camera, so you can check okay. me. Bro, y'all okay. hella goofy, bro. I'm talking to you, and you smack me. Bro, nobody smacked you, bro. Why I smack you? You did it? Why I smack you? Sages claims that this treatment was because Johnson slapped his hand away, a moment not clearly caught on his body cam. What the f***, bro? Do y'all know on? what's going on? I just got here, man. This fool is in the wrong he tried to come up on him like he's not doing shit he's waiting for me to get back from the store right when i come back instead of him just apologizing being like oh you're right i get it he tries to grab him and choke him and put him on the thing obviously that my friend is gonna put his hands back this fool's in the wrong and he could just say that and let it go and instead he's trying to i don't know what he's trying just to trying to figure out what's going on there bro he's being a whole ass Bro, oh god, and you know you're wrong, bro. This guy would be an awful lot more helpful if he wasn't so aggressive, but he's exactly right. Johnson was simply waiting for him to arrive in this spot when he was approached by Dages and was exhibiting no suspicious behavior whatsoever. But in the conversation that followed, he accidentally reveals the true reason for this stop. He looked at my name like 30 minutes ago, bro. Why am I still here? I don't got nothing on me. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm being a citizen. So, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm frustrated. It's hard to tell I'm sitting outside for no reason. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I understand. You really don't get it, though. You don't get it. It's, I understand cool. that you're frustrated. I, I, feel okay. like I, I understand you're being empathetic, and I, I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying? But you don't get it, bro. I already know what it is. Hey, I'm black and out here. That's what the issue is. Yeah. I get it. Dages agreeing to this almost seems like a joke. Even if this was a sarcastic comment, it speaks volumes that this is something he feels comfortable joking about. If the cops let it go at this point, all might have been forgiven. Johnson was understanding and the female officer was polite, but Dages decides he's not finished and moves in to arrest him. So listen to me. You're being placed under arrest for 241C, okay? Yep. Alright, what's your 241C? Assault on a peace officer. Ass assault on an officer? Oh, so hey, okay, bet, up, bet. Hey, come on. Hey, bro, hey. you are a whole ass. Bro, hey, oh hey, God, hey, call Jerry. Hey, call Jerry. Hey, Nick, call Jerry. <laughs> you're a. Bro, you a straight bitch, bro. Yeah, hey, you except for I, you're the one that hit me. Bro, I didn't hit you, bro. You started grabbing me, bro. I told you to stop touching me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Assault a police officer. You know it's on film, right? How far you think this is gonna go? I hope you don't shoot me in this back of his car or some shit. Because you guys are corrupt officers. You're for sure a corrupt as because I'm not supposed to be in the back of the car in the first place. Sages searches Johnson, then sits him in the back of his patrol car before taking him away to be charged. He also allegedly lied on his police report, saying that he observed Johnson smoking and that he took a fighting stance when he was approached. But Johnson wouldn't stand for this and decided to sue the city of La Mesa and Dages himself, citing excessive force and wrongful arrest. Around a month into the lawsuit, La Mesa agreed to pay a sum of $125,000 to Johnson. None of this money would come out out of Dage's pocket, but he was swiftly fired from the La Mesa Police Department just two years after he joined. Ashlyn Pluff, however, punched a black woman in the face, and her entire police department were just as bad and were all caught clearly on camera. You know, before there was body cameras, I wonder how many sergeants would just light this thing up, like oh, yeah. empty this tank. <laughs> 
Ashland's police department were dispatched to a house party in Toledo, Ohio. Guests at the house weren't causing a disturbance, and they didn't seem violent or rowdy whatsoever. So when the cops decided to move in to arrest them seemingly at random, it raised serious alarm bells. Hey, who lives here? Who's the owner I can talk to? Who lives here? This ain't got nothing to do with us. I'm asking who lives here. You do? Yeah. All right. Arrest him, 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 and them too. Hey, don't you can't go in my house. Watch out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I ain't even do that. What do you mean? Why are you pushing me off the corner? Get on the ground. Don't. Stay back. Don't. Stay back. Failure to disperse. Failure to disperse, everybody. The cop tells them that they're getting charges of failure to disperse. And in the state of Ohio, this charge can only be given out when the suspect's presence creates a high likelihood of physical harm or public inconvenience. In this scenario, the cop is clearly just looking for a way to get the guests in cuffs. All right, let's just sit here in the back of cars. Okay. okay, I'll explain to you. I stood here and I told everybody to go in the house. You didn't tell Listen, me. You didn't are you going to let me explain or are you going to yes, talk sir. over me? I stood here. I told everybody in here. Either go in the house or, or leave. After I said that, nobody moved. I said you're going to jail if you don't move. Nobody moved. The precise reason that nobody moved might be difficult for this cop to comprehend, but it's actually because he never asked anyone to go inside the house. He simply asked who lived there and then started arresting people. It should also be noted that if this call was for public disturbance, the commotion has increased dramatically since the police arrived, and it almost seems like they're the ones that caused it. But if you think the cops are about to stop there, you're dead wrong, as this officer decides to take out his weapon to threaten the residents. Guys, let's go! Time to move, let's go! Who else wants to go to jail? Because you're about to go. Go! Go! Why don't you listen and just go home? I don't have patience. People go to jail when I'm around. You know, before there was body cameras, I wonder how many sergeants would just light this thing up, like oh, yeah. empty this tank. <laughs> These snarky remarks from the cop are frankly terrifying as he's essentially admitting he'd open fire on everyone here if he had the opportunity. He's drunk on power and he's not the only one. Ashlyn Pluff is also on the scene doing exactly the same thing, only her story ends in an even more violent manner. You're not walking back up to that house, turn back around. I don't care. No, no, go. Take your ass to jail. I don't give a. Failure to disperse. Get the f out now. Go. Tensions are clearly extremely high right now. However, what makes the following footage even crazier is that the girl we're about to meet is professional boxer O'Shea Jones, an Olympic-level athlete who should be respected and admired for her talents, but instead she was assaulted, plain and simple. Back up. Go. I'm asking. Go. Back no. Up. I'm asking for his back. Give me her phone. Give me her phone. Nope. I'm not even here. You can't do that to her phone. Back the f up. What is wrong with y'all? You can't do that to her phone. Back up. Okay, give me her phone. Okay, that's her phone, so you yes. gotta keep it. Right, I'm gonna get my phone. Going. No, you're not giving your phone to anyone. I'm breaking my wrist. I'm then I'm stop I'm moving. Hey, you're angry. Hey, Calm hey. down. You angry. Stop she's twisting. Angry. All I'm saying she's squeezing quit my hands twisting, for no reason. Turning. Would you quit moving? Stop cussing at me. She just hit me. Y'all just see that? Anna! She just hit me. Anna! She just hit me. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. 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 Ma'am, there's no way to justify this attack. O'Shea was surrounded by officers and restrained, and Ashlyn punched her for no reason other than anger and hatred. However, unlike the officer from before, it seems that Ashlyn had completely failed to consider the fact that every cop here was equipped with a body cam, and she was in plain view of all of them. But in a tragic twist of fate, prosecutors found this use of force to be justified. They posit that O'Shea was resisting arrest, and the punch was a compliance technique. Instead, she was verbally reprimanded for her use of profanity in the incident, but received no criminal charges. But there's no better example of racism than yelling racial slurs at a suspect, and that's what Officer Tim Garcia was caught doing on July 14th, 2018. 
The suspect, Dwayne Robinson, was allegedly getting aggressive and confrontational with mall patrons, using vulgar language and threatening them. After Robinson was asked to leave, he complied, but the guards continued to follow him and eventually detained him. They were like, you understand? I said, look, man, I, look, I went like that. I said, look, y'all already told me what it was. I was like, I'm already walking up. Okay. So I, I tried to go back that way. I was like, I thought there was an exit. And they grabbed my bag. I said, look, man, don't grab my bag like that. Yeah. All they had to tell me was like, look, sir, there's not an exit over here. Yeah. And it was like, all right, we want you to exit the mall. I was like, look, man, I'm not about to exit the mall, bro. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I want the cops to come here to let y'all know the dumb yeah. y'all doing. Yeah. But look, I ain't even did nothing. To recap, Robinson has basically said that he was confused why security asked him to leave, but he complied until they started to get physical with him. He then asked them to alert police to try and work everything out. But as it turns out, this would be a huge mistake. The cop would soon turn out to be not just rude, but derogatory and insulting. Now, my, my question to you is, if they, they tell you to leave the ball, are you going to leave the ball? No, I don't want to. That's okay, well, I understand you don't want to, but if they tell you, are you going to leave the ball? I'm going to ask them for what? Okay, they don't have to tell you. If they don't want you here, you're not here, okay? That makes no sense. Okay, here's the deal. Now you're going to get argumentative with me. They won't put you in jail. I'll put you in jail. So, we cool on that? Yeah. Okay, cool. You have your ID? Let me just get your information. I'm going to get their information. All right, and then so, we'll all right, y'all take my information. So, like, they tell me they want to give me for criminal trespass. Yeah, they might give you a criminal trespass. Look, I ain't even did. Why y'all give me criminal trespass? What? They can. What, they can. You mean, they can. what you mean, bro? What you mean they can't? Sure. No, hold on, what you mean? No, no, okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna ask you to do no, something, I'm gonna tell you, then I'm gonna make you. Let me go, bro. Look, go ahead and let me go, bro. Look, go ahead and let me go, bro. Stop tensing up. Yes, you are. You know what? Now you're under arrest. For what? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Now you're under arrest for criminal trespass. After Robinson allegedly refused to hand over his ID, the cops decided to arrest him. At this point, they have decent reason for this. Robinson did refuse to leave the property when asked, and if Garcia is to be believed, he even took up an aggressive stance when he was asked to hand over his ID. But that's not the important part. That comes when Robinson is on the ground, cuffed and helpless, as the cops start to become more blunt and abusive. You say, look, give me your ID, so I'm about to give it to you. Grab but you did, no, no, no. Yeah. You took it back. Hey, it's all on camera. Fast, bro. I dude, dude. Do nothing. dude, look how old I am. You think I act back? I listened to all your stupid for like five minutes. Look, bro, and I said, you said, I said, look, I said, look, before I give y'all my ID, can y'all tell me, like, why would I get a criminal trespass? And I told you, they, if you're not shopping here, they don't well, want I, you. All right, look, and they didn't even tell me, I don't even have criminal trespass. You do now. Now you're going to jail. You're up like that. Fool, you had my arm, bro. No, I got your bro. I'm not your fool. I'm nothing like look, that. Bro, I'm an officer. Already, That's what you want to know. All I did was ask a question. Right, and we asked you for your ID, and you refused to give it to us. And look, I want... said, look, can y'all tell me? All right, give me your so ID. So we're detaining you I'm about to give for to... disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace? Yeah, this and is peaceful. Well, it was. And don't want to give us your arms. Man, that's we had. The way you were raised is bull. Tell me how I'm telling you how you're raised. Yeah, you are. Up. Police officers are supposed to do nothing other than protect the public and de-escalate tense situations. But it seems that Garcia has absolutely no concern for his image whatsoever, as he decides to take it up a notch by using slurs and acting blatantly racist. Hey, here, here, look. This is the police. This is the police. You. You. How do you like that? Police said, just said it right back to you. You. I, I, obviously, I don't. On camera, I'll say it. Do I look like you? Well, I'm only 3.4% African. I'm 3.4% Sub Saharan African. There you go. Say it right. Put an R at the end. If you're going to say it, don't, don't call me. Uh, I ain't. Uh, Not only did the cop just say all of that completely unapologetically, he did it all right after acknowledging that he's happy to do it on camera just to prove a point. But he wasn't done yet. Why am I doing this? For, for being the Look, y'all trying to speak. Oh, man. I'm just trying to get it right. I'm trying to get it right. And you got to put my where you want me to go, man? That way. Everything was going good. We had a, you and I had a good rapport. Yeah, yes, we did. So like, y'all, y'all, y'all talking about kids. Trying to f me and f my f life, bro. 
your life. I think you, I think you f***ed your life up. I'm gonna do that. I think you will. The verbal abuse should have been far more than enough, but once the cops got outside and close to their patrol cars, they decided it was also time to throw some physical abuse into the mix too, completely unwarranted. What are you doing? Stop. I'm trying to take your shoes off. Just stop. Quit acting like trying to take my shoes off. Because I have to search you. All you have to do is behave. Why can't you just behave, dude? Dude, you keep tensing up, you keep getting it. There you go. You'll you'll because we gotta make sure you ain't got nothing in there. If you think it's unusual that the cops are taking Robinson's shoes off, you'd be completely right. He's being arrested for trespassing, not a drug charge, not a weapons charge, and nothing dangerous whatsoever. Especially when you realize that the cops didn't even search his shoes and forced him to walk on a hot pavement in the middle of July barefoot. Hey, bro, can you stop harassing me? Dude, this all would have been over if you would have just handed me your ID. You had, you pulled it out of your wallet, you were fixing to, fixing to hand it to me, and then you pulled it back, and you just didn't want to cooperate, man. You had it. You were there. All you had to do was give me your ID. We're going to get you up. We're going to stand up. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Hey, look, man. Where? Robinson was brought back to jail on charges of trespassing and resisting, but it's what happened to the officers after the event that was so interesting and gives us a clear window into the corrupt insides of a police department. An investigation was of course launched into Garcia, and Garcia's sergeant wrote that he thought a written reprimand would be the appropriate punishment. According to him, Garcia didn't use the word in a racist manner or direct it at anyone. He simply repeated the word back to Robinson. Two lieutenants also reviewed the incident, and they concurred with the recommendation of a letter of reprimand. Thankfully though, the deputy chief saw the footage and believed that the banter, escalation, and use of profanity was extremely unprofessional and forwarded the incident to internal affairs for a formal investigation. Eventually, the video made its way to the San Antonio police chief, who recommended an indefinite suspension for Garcia. He said it was by no means reprimandable conduct. This whole thing was as wrong as it can be. In a last-ditch effort to defend himself, Himself, Garcia topped all his actions off with a final derogatory and insulting statement, claiming that all he did was use a similar language as a means of communicating his point, repeating his language back in order to speak a vernacular he would understand. In January of 2019, Garcia was indefinitely suspended from his role with the San Antonio Police Department.